Hi friends, welcome back to Mangalorean Taste Buds by Asha. Today I'll show you how I make beef korma of beef masala. Korma is a gravy dish that is usually made with yogurt, lots of nuts and spices. A Mughal era original. Beef korma is the perfect dinner party dish. You can use chicken or meat instead. I have used green masala for this preparation. Enjoy it with your parathas, rotis, ghee rice, jeera rice to create an ultimate meal. This is a spicy, rich and comforting curry made with almonds and cashew paste. So let's check out the ingredients. If you are new to my channel, a warm welcome. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. If you like this recipe of mine, do give a thumbs up and click the like button. If you have tried this recipe, please leave a comment in the comment section below. So let's get started. Here I have taken 1 teaspoon cumin seeds, 1 teaspoon anise seeds or sonf, 1 tablespoon coriander seeds. You can use powders if you have. This is 2 pieces of cin cinnamon stick, 3 cardamoms, 4 cloves, 1 teaspoon pepper corns. This is 4 cloves. 2 cardamom pods, 1 black cardamom, 2 pieces of cinnamon stick and 2 bay leaves. This is 4 green chilies, 1 inch piece ginger, around 9 to 10 cloves of garlic and a few coriander leaves. This is 2 large onions sliced. This, this is around 750 grams of Beef, this is boneless. This is 10 to 12. Almonds and cashews. Powder it along with curd and use it. Add the whole spices. Once it crackles, add 1 teaspoon of saum for any seeds. Once it releases the aroma, add the sliced onion. You can chop it fine and cook till the onion is nice, soft and slight brown in color. Add the green masala paste. This is ginger, garlic, green chili and coriander leaves. I usually make this paste and keep it. Add tomatoes, two small tomatoes or one large tomato. Add salt as per taste and fry well till the onions and tomatoes are nice, soft and mushy. Add 1 teaspoon of turmeric powder. Give it a nice good mix. You can add more oil or ghee as required. Korma stays good with ghee. This is the spice powder which we made. Add it to the onion and tomato mixture. And keep frying till oil separates out from the masala. Add the meat. You can use chicken or mutton instead. You can use bone in also. Fry well for a couple of minutes. Add two to three tablespoons of curd. At this point of time you can add the ground almonds and cashew paste. I mixed it with the curd. Add a little water if you wish. And let it cook till the meat is done. Add one teaspoon of kasuri methi. One teaspoon of chili flakes. Kormas are usually a little spicy, but since we are adding curd and 
almonds and cashew it becomes mild add 3 to 4 whole green chilies this is optional add chopped coriander leaves let it come to a nice rolling boil best served with rotis naan parathas do give it a try i'm sure you will enjoy this quick and yummy recipe thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to click the bell icon to get notified as and when i upload a new recipe the list of ingredients is given in the description box below so my sweet friends hope you have enjoyed this quick and yummy recipe stay tuned for more such interesting recipes till we meet again check out my other recipes at mangalorean taste buds by asha Bye see you soon with the new interesting recipe take care